Hmm. Oh, yes, a feature stimulus class. I almost said crash. I don't know why. Anyway, feature stimulus class. Look at the pretty camera. I'm sorry, I'm pointing at you, but I'm actually looking at a camera. You forget, right? Sometimes you just completely forget that I'm actually looking at a camera, not at you. But anyway, don't tell anybody. Um, so a feature stimulus class is the a particular feature of a given stimulus is going to produce the standard response, right? You could teach this specifically. So if the feature that I was interested in teaching you was blue, I would show you an object and say, say blue. And you would say blue. And then I would show you a different object and say, say blue. And you would say blue. And I would show you a different shape of an object and say blue. But so I could get you to say all oh, blue in the presence of all sorts of different objects that happen to be blue, um, then we could generalize that and get you to, color, to talk about the different shades of blue, but that's a different issue. That's not a feature stimulus class issue. So then we can go back and we'd say, oh, well, now that I've taught you blue, we could focus on another feature that we could want you, want you to learn about, such as the shape. Square, right? So I could show you a square that's blue, then I'll show you another square that's red, and another square that's green, and it gets you to focus on that particular uh, for that feature of the stimulus. That way, whenever you see the stimulus that's a square, you say square, not blue.